It's been over two years since 90 Day Fiancé viewers last caught up with these long-distance couples, so here's what the Season 8 cast is up to now. 90 Day Fiancé Season 8 aired from 2020 to 2021, and it's time to revisit the cast from one of the best reality TV show seasons. Season 8 was perhaps the most unusual of the series yet, as all the couples faced the unique struggles of an international relationship at the height of the COVID-19 pandemic. While 90 Day Fiance Season 10 wraps up, there's still curiosity regarding these iconic couples from Season 8. 90 Day Fiance Season 8 brought together couples and put their relationships to the test as they embarked on the journey towards marriage. Mike Youngquist and Naily Mordob Seba faced the daunting task of bridging cultural differences and navigating religious beliefs. Meanwhile, Yara Zaya and Jovi Dufrin battled the challenges of long-distance relationships, and Brandon Gibbs and Julia Trubkina's romance was tested by Brandon's overprotective parents and their traditional lifestyle. Where are all the couples today? Daycare worker Andrew met French-Egyptian Amira online and quickly proposed when she came to the U.S. on a trip to Las Vegas. The pandemic prevented Amira from living with Andrew in the U.S. on a fiancé visa, so the couple hatched a loophole plan to meet in other countries, meetings that were filled with arguments about having children and their future together. After such a chaotic season, it is no surprise that Andrew and Amira's relationship burned out by the end. Andrew is still single and has even reached out to apologize to his former fiancé. He has chosen to focus on himself and is mostly absent from social media. Amira was offered two tickets by the end of 90 Day Fiance Season 8, a ticket to Andrew's home in California and another back home, with Amira choosing the latter. Amira had a tough time trying to spend time with her fiancé Andrew because their plan to meet in Mexico resulted in her deportation and their trip to Serbia, resulting in an argument where Amira alleges Andrew forced her to have kids with him. Amira was dating Camel Ventura, but it appears they have since split. However, she now lives in Los Angeles, where she pursues modeling, dancing, and acting. Details about Amira's immigration status are somewhat unclear, but she seems happy in Los Angeles. Virginia native Brandon found future fiancé Julia from Russia through online dating and proposed to her upon their first formal meeting on a trip to Iceland. Brandon brought Julia back to the U.S. to his parents' farm and home where the couple awkwardly shared space with Brandon's often overbearing parents. By the end of season 8, Brandon and Julia got over their family tensions and married, and have been living together in the U.S. ever since. They have since moved out of Brandon's parents' home in the country and live in Richmond, Virginia. It seemed that Julia and Brandon, 26 and 27 during season 8, were too immature to get married. Julia was disappointed in fiancé Brandon's lack of financial support, as she lived in the U.S. and could not work due to her visa, living with Brandon's parents. It didn't help matters any further when Julia frequently butted heads with the family. Brandon and Julia are doing well in 2024, with Julia focusing on her modeling and potential baby plans. American Jovi met Ukrainian resident Yara while traveling through Budapest, and what was meant to be a casual fling ended up with Yara falling pregnant. Jovi proposed to Yara so she could live in the U.S. with him. Yara suffered a miscarriage, and Jovi has an underwater robotics job that requires frequent travel, so the couple spent much of their time apart, which led to a lot of tension. After season 8 of 90 Day Fiancé wrapped, the couple welcomed the baby in 2020, as shown on 90 Day Fiancé. Happily ever after? Season 6. Despite their ups and downs, Yara and Jovi are still together. Ukrainian native Yara Zaya had a difficult first few months in America. After a tragic pregnancy loss, the couple faced another pregnancy and a swift Las Vegas wedding that allowed Yara to continue residing in the U.S. before their child was born. The mid-pandemic wedding meant that Yara's family couldn't attend the nuptials, and Jovi's family accused her of using Jovi for a green card. Since season 8 wrapped, Yara and Jovi welcomed a daughter, Myla. Due to the pandemic and war in Ukraine, Yara could not see her family back home but has been able to travel to Prague with her family to reunite with them. Mike and Naily were initially cast members on 90 Day Fiance Season 7, having met when a mutual friend asked them to be godparents to their baby. Season 7 ended with Mike's split with the Ukrainian native after some serious tension abroad, 
and season 8 saw an awkward reconciliation when Mike's mother came to visit, as the couple remained engaged despite constant fighting and no real marriage plans. Unsurprisingly, Mike and Natalie's tumultuous relationship didn't seem to last, and Mike finally filed for divorce from Natalie. Mike is dating a new woman he shows off on social media, having had little luck during his time on 90 Day Fiancé. The Single Life In 90 Day Fiancé Season 8, Natalie had a tough time. The Ukrainian citizen faced visa travel troubles due to the pandemic, and Mike called off their wedding just days before, meaning she could no longer legally stay in the country. Surprisingly for viewers, the couple did get married in time for the reunion episode. Natalie has since started dating Josh Weinstein and has appeared on 90 Day Fiancé. The Single Life She is pursuing modeling and acting, remaining solidly in the spotlight. Rebecca met Zeed, a man 22 years her junior, online, and the spin-off 90 Day Fiancé. Before the 90 days followed Rebecca on her journey, meeting him in Tunisia for the first time. She had been known for photoshopping her online pictures, but the real Rebecca didn't put off Zeed, and they traveled to her native Georgia before getting married. The former 90 Day Fiancé couple are still together, and Rebecca has continued her private detective career. She is a dedicated mother to her child from a previous marriage. When Zeed came to Rebecca's native Georgia in the U.S., he was not met with open arms by Rebecca's daughter and her other family and friends. Rebecca's Peter suspected that the much younger Zeed only wanted her for a green card. Zeed was no stranger to controversy, as he attempted to control what Rebecca wore and tried to rush the wedding due to his religious views. Zeed, still married to Rebecca, has settled into his new life in the United States. Now able to gain employment from his marriage visa, he works in a furniture store and is stepdad to Rebecca's daughter. Stephanie met Ryan, a man half her age while vacationing in Belize, and the two kept in touch. She visited the country several times more to keep seeing him. After a massive fight over jealousy, Stephanie told Ryan she had sex with his cousin to get back at him. Between the fighting and the pandemic, the couple never made down the aisle together. Unfortunately, Stephanie and Ryan's storyline, including that of Ryan's cousin, went on the show to promote her business. Stephanie stated that she was going to sue the network to pay her medical bills after an untreated bug bite while filming led to her being hospitalized. She mainly uses her fame to peddle conspiracy theories. Perhaps one of the least compatible couples in 90 Day Fiancé history, Belize native Ryan never seemed serious with Stephanie. Ryan was actively pursuing other women from the early stages of their relationship, and Stephanie spent much of her time on the show with her new love, Ryan's cousin Harris. After a fight on the show, Stephanie alleged that Ryan had sexually assaulted her, but no criminal proceedings have taken place yet. Ryan resides in Belize and has made a living via modeling gigs and influencing. Tarek proposed to Filipina girlfriend Hazel shortly after visiting her for the first time in her native country, and their relationship before their meeting was showcased in before the 90 days. Tarek already had a daughter from a previous relationship, and his attempt to blend his family with Hazel and his son proved difficult in season 8. After around a year of marriage, Tarek and Hazel split in December 2021. Tarek has alleged at times that he and Hazel have rekindled their relationship multiple times. Still, there is no confirmation that the couple is formally back together. It seems particularly unlikely now that Tarek has unfollowed Hazel and archived all images of her on Instagram, but they were together as of January 2023. Hazel's move to Virginia to be with Fuance Tarek wasn't easy, as showcased in Season 8. Hazel introduced the idea of polyamory and including another female partner in the relationship, but arguments over jealousy put a stop to it. Hazel missed her son, as she could not bring him to the States, and this was another cause for arguments, although they did marry by the end of the season. Since the show ended, Hazel has alleged that Tarek was abusive to her during their marriage before it ended in 2021. They were also spotted together following their split in 2022. In a later interview, Hazel claimed the language barrier was the result of tension and walked back her previous abuse claims. However, the 90-day fiancé couple was rumored to be together as of January 2023.